to Jenna's Kitchen. We are finally able to go back to school, but the problem arises every year that happens. What am I going to take for breakfast? Because sometimes you're running late and you just have to grab it and go. Well, this is the perfect recipe. We made some homemade protein bars because we didn't have the ones we like in the store, so we made our own. Let's get started. All of our ingredients here, we've got one and a half cup of oats. Half a cup of peanut butter to bind it together and give it some protein. And we also softened it a little bit so it'll be easier to mix with all of the rest of our ingredients. And we've got half a cup of honey for some sweetness. And this is also going to make it stick together because honey's kind of sticky. And then we have two thirds a cup of vanilla protein powder. This is also going to give it some protein. Here we have our add-ins. We've got chocolate chips and cherries, like my favorite. This one is the Special K protein bar. I took these all to school with me. Freshman year, ate them every day. And now, we're making homemade. Half a cup of chocolate chips. Half a cup of dried cherries. Now, just mix it up. is you can make them ahead because you just put them in the freezer once you get done mixing it and then you can have them for the rest of the week plus they build up your arm muscles when you're stirring it all up all right this is all mixed up gonna do a little taste test mm. now we're gonna put this in our pan all right now it's time to put our mixture into our pan now you're probably thinking what in the world why does she have clothespins on a pan well let me tell you if you put the clothespins on there, because sometimes the parchment paper wants to fly out, and then there's no point in doing it before. So you put the clothespins on there to keep it nice and secure. And you use the parchment paper so you can just lift it out of the pan once you're done freezing it and cut it up into bars, and you're good to go. Now it's time to take our mixture and put it in the pan. And here I just have a 7x11 pan, but you could use an 8x8. If you want thinner bars, you can use a 9 by 13. Now we can take off the clothespins because the parchment paper can't fly away at this point. We have another piece of parchment paper to put on top of the bar and smush it out. One, so you don't get your hands all sticky with the peanut butter and the honey. And two, to just kind of level it out. because at this point this side's a little bit higher than this side and so if you bit into this side it'd just be like real small but this side's like raw that was a very bad visual but you get the point i think i hope all right we've got this all leveled out we're gonna put the top on we're gonna put it in the freezer for an hour once it comes out you can cut it into the bars or you could just leave it in this whole sheet Put it in the refrigerator and you can cut them as you like. Alright, our protein bars have been freezing for an hour. Now we're going to take them out and put them on a cutting board so we can cut them into bars. First thing we've got to do is take off the parchment paper. It's time to cut it into however big bars you like. You could cut it all this way, all this way. You could cut them in half, however you like. I'm going to cut them about this big frozen so you're gonna have to be a little bit patient and be very careful. We've let this thaw a little bit because if you cut it when it's really frozen it's gonna kind of break off and we don't want that. We want a solid bar. So we're gonna try again. Ah uh, yes, much easier this time. I'm cutting them about this thick and then I'm gonna cut them in half. And these are great to take to school in the morning, take to work in the morning, and they're great after school or after work snack. Now I'm going to twist it this way and cut it down the middle. Alright, here are the protein bars that we made today. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. They're packed with protein and fiber and they taste 
really good too. They're not those dry ones that you're just like, I hate this so much. They're really good. They're really good, perfect for going to work or going back to school. If you like this video, please like it and comment your favorite protein bar down below. Subscribe to Jenna's Kitchen and have a great day.